day, dear friend. You are welcome to today's reflection on restoration through forgiveness. I'm Dr. Elder Prosper Tetedo, and our key scripture is Luke chapter 15, verse 18. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you that our victory is rooted in what Jesus did, not in what we do. We know that it isn't that there is no doing on our part, but our doing is the appropriation and application of what Jesus did. The one who is in us is greater than the one who is in the world. God lives in us. That's amazing. That's also a guarantee of victory. Amen. God will forgive and restore you. Luke chapter 15 verse 18 says, Father, I have sinned. The prodigal son's story begins like this. There was a man who had two sons. The younger one said to his father, Father, give me my share of the estates. So he divided his property between them. Not long after, the younger son got together all he had set off for a distant country and squandered his wealth in wide living. This young man's sin was bad, really bad. In a Middle Eastern patriarchal society, the disrespect he demonstrated towards his father is beyond what most of us can relate to. As a younger son, he was entitled to a third of the family estate, but only after his father's death. So in a sense, he was sending a message to his dad saying, I wish you were dead. If you think that's shocking, his father's response of love and grace is even more shocking. And if you failed God badly, it will come as a real encouragement to you. When his boy came back home, broke, busted, and disgusted, the Bible says, while he was still a long way off, his father saw him and was filled with compassion for him. He ran to his son, threw his arms round him, and kissed him. In that culture, fathers never ran. A proud patriarch would never hitch up his garments, bare his legs, and run, ever. The point Jesus wanted to make is this. The moment you turn around and come back to God, he will run to meet you with open arms forgive your sin and restore you to your rightful place in his family. So come today. And dear friend, Jesus is calling you to come today. And there's no sin that is unforgivable. He loves you. Be blessed.